This video is powered by Swarovski Optic, the world leader in premium sporting optics. Finally, finally, I made it to Belém. Getting here has been a nightmare. I had many flights cancel. Uh, William, Oriana, and Jarvis Matos have been here for two days already, and I finally made it to join up with them. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Jarvis. And we were on our way to a naturalist reserve. That's what it's called. And this reserve was put together not specifically for the hummingbirds, but for all the wildlife in the area. But the dot ear coquette seems to really love this area, so it's a reliable place to find it. And this is a hummingbird I've never seen, and it's a beautiful little coquette. I can't wait to see him. Be Fernanda, <laughs> yes. hello. hello, and Danielle. Danielle. Very, Danielle. very nice to <laughs> meet you. <laughs> Welcome. Well, Thank you for having me. Danielle's mother mm -hmm. make uh, lunch. Oh, okay. A fish name is Gurijuba. 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 Fantastic. This fish was pulled right out of the Amazon River. After our great lunch, we're going to go take a crack at the pale-tailed barb throat. Apparently it's there, so he's there for the taking. Let's go with the equipment. Let's go. We tried to get the pale-tailed barb throat. Apparently, yesterday, he perched on this one perch for a long time and preened and did everything that we like to film and photograph. But we got here a little late today and I don't think he's coming. So uh, we're gonna try again tomorrow in this spot. But anyone who thinks this is easy, just look at the sweat dripping off of us. <laughs> Well, here I am in the director's chair. I don't think my name is on the back of it yet, <laughs> but <laughs> this is what we do. You have to be very patient and wait around. Usually I'm not comfortable in a chair, but we're in a place where the uh, coquette, the dot-eared coquette has been perching, but we're just waiting for him to come. We know he will, but a matter of when, we don't know. Fortunately, we didn't have long to wait for the little guy to make his first appearance. The dot-eared coquette is a small and dazzling hummingbird found mostly in Brazil, with only one recorded as a vagrant in eastern Bolivia. Although its territory seems to be rather widespread, it is a very difficult bird to find. Currently, there are only 154 observations on eBird. The bill is red and tipped in black. The male's forehead is green and he has long rufous feathers on his crown that he can elevate to form a crest. His back is bronzy green with the white band across the rump, typical of all the coquettes. He has a green gorget with long white feathers tipped with green that fan out and back from his throat. The throat and dots at the end of the throat feathers usually appear black, but if you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of green.
Okay, well, it's just started to rain and I don't have all my rain equipment with me, so I guess we're done. But I'm very satisfied with what we got today so far. And we'll try again tomorrow. End of a great day.